Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. In the last episode we managed to pick ourselves up a Totodile, we named it Dylan because I don't really know why. Beautiful, Dylan. No idea why, just seems ma it made sense. We also managed to make our way to Mr. Pokemon Center's house and he gave us an egg and there was Professor Oak there and it was a wonderful time. So in this episode we're going to make our way back to New Bark Town which is the area we started off in in order to find out what the hell Professor Elm is on because uh, he, he phoned us up and he wanted to know he, something was going on, some sort of shenanigans but very quickly I want to show you this you know because this, this goes away after a while it's like, it's like oh my god it's a Pokemon battle they look like you know two different coloured sprites it's like oh my god tackle Oh, it hits some massive damage! This is a big battle. Leave me alone. I'm gonna... I'm gonna back out of that, because that looks like some... That's some hardcore shiznick right there. So I'm just gonna run away. I also mentioned... There's, there's this guy in here. I didn't really mention it, but... Oh, po Pokemon eat berries. Oh, my Pokemon got healthy by eating a berry. Here, I'll show on Vibu. So we get... <laughs> that was really quick talking. Um... I get another berry. Freebies, wonderful. You, you love it when you get freebies in games like this, because... You just get so much good stuff. So anyway, we're on our way back to New Bark Town, but the reason why I'm not meeting you over there, if I actually have, how's my uh, Totodile doing for health? Actually, full health. That's fantastic. So yeah, the um, reason why I'm not going to do it is, dun, 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 there we go, exclamation mark. It's the Ginger Man. What's he doing? It's like, you got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste of wimp like you. Brr. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. That's his voice, okay? That's how. That's what I imagine him to sound like. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna smack your ass into the ground. It's a Pokemon battle. Holy cow! First one in the game. He actually has ginger hair. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Wants to battle. Oh my god! Uh, and of course, your rival. Your rival in a way sends out your opposing weakness Pokemon. So it's a Chikorita, because it's grass, and we chose a Totodile. It'd be different with different things. Doesn't matter. I always like these rival battles in Pokemon because it's really like stupid battling, because you have no moves. He hasn't even leveled his Pokemon. I've leveled mine twice, so nuts to him. Um, how do you get a critical? Bullshit. Um, so it's kind of a strange situation where you just there's no real tactics, you're just trying to spam moves until one of them dies. You can't really, I could use Rage, but there's no point. So, it's a bit of a weird Pokemon battle. It doesn't really matter, just gonna keep scratching him until he falls down. By the way, um, just wanna clarify something while he just goes down and I should level up. Oh yeah. Um, Twitch plays Pokemon, started Pokemon Gold. Pokemon's, Pokemon Crystal, actually. Um, in between the recording for episode one and episode two. So, that's the thing. I guess I'm racing them. Am I racing them now? Um, I think I might win that one. My name's question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest compo- no, Pokemon trainer. I'm the world's greatest composer. No one knows what you are. Uh, by the way, gonna talk to this guy. I'm a rookie trainer. Yes, yes, everyone is a rookie trainer at some point. I'm learning to drive. I have that experience where it's just like... There's a thing on the back of the car saying, you used to be a rookie driver as well. Have some patience while this guy goes really slowly. Yeah, just it, basically this is kind of pointless. He's just going to say, this is a Pokemon Center. I, it heals Pokemon, makes them better. This is a Mart, you buy stuff. Kind of, what do you expect? You can buy Pokeballs and other useful items. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. This is where you go to the friggin' prized Pokemon. I don't care. This is water. Don't fall in water. Don't do it, you die. You cannot breathe unless you have gills. This is a house, that's a guy, that's a sign, that's a lady. This is my house. Yes, here. It's my house. Told you. Thank you for your company. Let me give you a small gift. The map card. That's the only reason why I did this. The map card. This is now a map, um, which is helpful if I've never played this game before, which I have many times over. So yeah, let's go back to New Bark Town. Uh, I may skip over any battles we get along the way because there's no point. Um, and yeah, po yes, Twitch played Pokemon uh, has started this. And to be honest, I don't really give a shit if people say I copied them because I don't really give a shit. Um, but I'm just saying I started this before them. I started this. Uh, I think I recorded this the Thursday, a week before the Thursday before the first episode goes up. So make some sense of that, and it proves that I recorded this actually before they finished generation one so toodles to you uh we're going back up here is this that's all no that's not automatic it's a police officer i heard a pokemon was stolen here 
And what's a policeman's accent? Um, I don't know. I can't think of any. I, oh, I was getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was the wrong meal with long red hair. What? You old battle the trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Oh, that was interesting. So what am I going to name my rival? I hear you ask. Now, I could call him Ben after a YouTuber has... Uh, another YouTuber who has red hair. But because I'm planning that name down later down the line, I'll go with the easier one. Named after Logan. Guy called Animal Guy 001. That guy. He's my rival now. I'm going to smack him in the ground. In the ground. Hello. How, how are you doing, Elm? This is terrible. Oh yes, that what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Handled the mystery egg. It was his penis after all, I told you. This? Okay, he's like, he actually like, sort of takes a step back. It's like, oh, it's a Pokemon egg. Oh my god. Does he not know, you know, Pokemon can procreate? I don't know. I don't know. It's a strange, strange world we live in. Yes, I don't know. You must know this. Come on. I know this is early Pokemon, but you could breed in Generation 1, I think, so... Nah, whatever. Strange guy. Great one, the great Pokemon with you. I say he's like level eight. Not doing that well. It's pretty good. Twitch plays Pokemon when we're at a higher level before they got here. So that that's a thing. Um, they've been going for three and a half hours, and I'm already ahead of them after like 20 minute recording. It's not even that. How, how long have I been going for? Uh, like 17, 22 minutes or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So he's basically saying that we should become the Pokemon Master, which um, uh, the, the redhead guy was talking about. So we're going to do that, but we're going to go talk to our mother first because we've got to explain that we're going on to a very large, very large, um, dangerous quest involving bad guys and Pokemon that could squish us and eat us and lots of bad things. So he's also given us the Pokedex. Uh, well, no, no. He gave us a Pokeball, so it wasn't paying attention. Yeah, he's giving us Pokeballs, we can now catch Pokemon, which will be very helpful if I wanted to catch any Pokemon. But we, we, I don't really want to right now, because there's no point. There's no good Pokemon. There's a dog downstairs making noise. What the hell? That's not helpful. I'm recording. Shut up. Um, <laughs> don't know. I have no idea. So, yeah, Mum's just saying she's going to save money for us. So every time we get some money from being a trainer... I, we have the option to say no, but um, every time we get money from being a trainer, some of that goes back to mother, and we get to uh, go back to mother and say, can I have some money? And she'll give us the money she's saved, which is actually very useful. Once you've beaten the Elite Four, gone through the entire game, and transport it back to your house, uh, you can just pick up the money there, and you get quite a bit for it, so that's fantastic. Uh, there's this guy. How many Pokemon have I caught? None. Would you like to show me? No. I just, no, I don't need to know how to catch a Pokemon. I'm not that dumb. Marginally, kind of, but I don't need to know. I know roughly how to catch a Pokemon. I don't need some strange man telling me how to do it because I've, you know, I've played this game many times. I haven't played it that many times. Not as many as like Sunshine or Wind Waker, but this was the one which I just spent a ton of time on. You know, not really like new games or anything, but just, just like leveling up Pokemon. It's just what I did. But oh well, let's keep going. Um, we need to go to Violet City, which is through Cherry... What's it called? Cherry Grove Town. I d there's names you just don't remember. I mean, you remember the, the important ones, where the gyms are and where the important events take place, but was it Cherry Grove? This is where I wish I was playing Crystal, where it would just pop up at the bottom. Cherry Grove City. City of cute, fragrant flowers. Aren't they nice? Hey, lady. Do you like the flowers? Going with Pokemon, going anywhere is fun! That's fantastic! Look at those flowers, aren't they nice? Um, <laughs> who cares about the flowers? It's beautiful. Cherry, Cherry Grove City has flowers. Isn't that interesting? I'm very, very excited by that. So anyway, how are we doing, guys? Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't really got much to say. Other than I'm, I'm always making countdowns. The people who inevitably just say, you know, oh, it's, oh it's, let's play. I don't like that. I think he battles me. So let's just go with that. I, I'm always making a countdown. Um, so even when this is going on, literally what I'm playing, I'm like typing with my feet the script of the next countdown. I'm putting that much care and attention into it that that's what I'm doing. So there's this random trainer here. He's giving us our second battle of the game. Oh, my God. Um, and he says we're weak and we know we're not. So he's about to get some serious smackdown on his little rat Pokemon, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I think I'll keep these battles in for now, because they're like early trainer battles. He's not going to be that interesting. He's like, oh my god, he did three, three hit points of damage. Three hit points. Oh my god. Someone get the bandages and the potion and put him back together. So 
It's not that interesting, but it's important because it's quite an early battle. Maybe we'll learn a nice move. I can't remember at what um, at what level. Sorry, um, Totodile learns a good move. I think it's like. 11 or 12 or something and hey if you think about it these are the two guys who were fighting with the you know blue and red Rattata I guess I don't know don't know what Pokemon this is gonna be maybe it's a shiny Rattata I don't know what Pokemon was it oh he's got he's got two maybe it's a Caterpie was it Cat? is a Pidgey of course it was then why didn't it have wings why didn't it have wings I don't know but um yeah these are the two Pokemon trainers we saw at the beginning who were fighting and now they've both lost or something how does that work wasn't really paying attention to what that other guy was saying, but who cares? So Rage, funny little move, um, in Generation 1, Rage was the most single stupid, oh, like one of the most single stupid uh, moves in the game. Because, like, okay, Rage in Generation 1, one, you used it, um, and you only needed one PP, it would just keep using Rage, and it would just keep attacking the Pokemon without any input from you. It was like Thrash and Outrage. And probably, was it Teeter Dance? Well, no, not Teeter Dance. Um, there's, another, there's another move like that, where you just like keep on using it and you just never ever stop. No input from you, you were just raging like crazy. Um, but that's the funny thing. In this, in this game, it's better, it's more controlled. It's not actually that good a move, uh, you know, either, either sense of the word. But it's a bit more controllable. It's it's a uh, it's a nicer move than just oh my god I'm going to be using the same move until you die or until you take out the entire trainer and the battle ends. That is the extent of what rage is in Generation One. And uh, yeah, it's not bad, but it's not very useful. It's not the most useful move in the world. This is better in this generation because it's it's more toned down. A, a critical hit somehow managed to do one HP on me. That's pretty sad. Um, are we over leveled yet? I know the first gym leader is like level 8, I think his uh, highest level Pokemon is. So I think we're slightly bit over leveled, um, but we've only got one Pokemon so far. So maybe that's something to keep in mind. Uh, just gonna keep killing Caterpies, why not? Why not? Um, yeah, it's a, fun, it's a fun pastime. I would skip these, but these are early trainer battles. They might be important somehow. I don't know. I can't remember that much from the beginning of the game. I remember the better bits of the game, which are like when it gets going. How many people actually remember, like, the very beginning of games like that? I can't remember, there's a bush over there. I'm not going to get that. There's a tree. A tree bush. A tree bush. I don't know. There's going to be wild Pokemon in here, and I encountered none of them, so that's fine. This is a cave, which is very dark. I think it's actually called, if we go outside and have a look, the Dark Cave. There we go. Points for originality. Aren't they wonderful? We found an antidote. That might come in handy if we begin poisoned or overwhelmed with poisonous thoughts like I don't know what's a poisonous thought strange thing to think about anyway still on the road to Viridian City I mean um, Violet City because they're the same thing uh, I'm gonna skip this one because this one's boring he had three Caterpies I think it's a he um, he had three Caterpies and a, and a Weedle so very exciting yeah I think what I'll do in <laughs> come on yeah, what I think I'll do, if I can go like two seconds without initiating a Pokemon battle, is only show ones which are important, like if the Pokemon levels up, or if I catch a good Pokemon, or if there's a good Pokemon there. But those really aren't, because they are against Caterpies, so that's very exciting. So anyway, if I just go go heal up my Pokemon, because my Dylan is a little bit tired. We actually arrived in Violet City, I didn't really make a, like a song and dance about that, but we are actually in Violet City, which is a very big city kind of, and there are a lot of things to see and do, which we will be doing next episode, so thanks for watching guys, uh, and I will see you next episode where we will be going probably here, uh, probably uh, if we find the place up here, and then maybe somewhere else if we've got enough time, so thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time, take care.